Pidoki. In our last video, uh, we had, uh, finished uh, working on getting our goals, our goal rather, just uh, to move uh, and to bounce off the walls just like the uh, player does. Again, it's not the best bouncing algorithm because it kind of bounces in a weird direction. But uh, as you can see, it is bouncing. Um, then it turns into a random direction each time. Okay, so that's about that. Um, so what we want to do now uh, is we want to figure out a way to have more than one goal on the screen. Okay, now what we could do, um, God help us, is we could copy this and change this to goal two, 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 two. two. Then down here, we'd have to do goal two forward, goal two. We have to just repeat this over and over again. Uh, fortunately, we know how to get around that because we've learned uh, two important things in programming, at least particularly in Python programming, lists and f loops. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to create multiple goals. So I'm going to create goals. And uh, I'm going to make a, a variable here called max goals. This will tell us how many goals we're going to put on the screen. Now we can add that number, uh, but this will give us you know, a good starting point. Um, now, we need to create a list uh, to hold this. So I'm going to say goals equals, okay, so square brackets. This creates an empty list, and once that is done, there is no, uh, there's no anything inside the list. List is empty. Okay, so now we want to actually create the goals. And to do this, we're going to need a loop. So I'm going to say for count and range, that range is going to be max goals. Okay. So then just need to indent all that. Okay, now keep in mind, we're moving from goal, uh, which was the name of our turtle object, to using a list. So this is where it gets a little complicated. So what it's going to look like is we can't say goal equals. We have to use append, which is how we add items to a list. And so we are appending, so we're adding to that list each for each count a turtle object called, uh, well, a turtle. Then the reference to that, so we're not using, we can't use goal anymore. Okay. Um, actually, it's goals.append. So I'll make that goals because we because we're using goals here. So it's going to be goals and then the index. So in this case, it's count. So I'm just copying that and pasting it. Okay. So what we're doing here, okay, you just got to kind of follow along, see if you can get the concept. Um, we're making a list. Now, in the past, our lists have held things like integers, they've held strings. Um, in this case, they're actually holding the turtle object itself. So in this case, we've got goals zero is a turtle, goals one is a turtle, they're separate turtles, goals three is a separate is a different turtle, etc. etc. Now we could you know change the color, make it a little bit more colorful, um, but for now, we'll just leave it as, as it is. So we've all we've done here is we've created a loop, uh, we've created a list. And instead of using goal, we change it to goals. Okay, so, and the object reference is now goals and the number. So zero, one, two, three, up to the max. Okay, minus one, of course. Okay, so when we come down here, we basically need to do the same thing. So we're gonna do just what we did. So we're gonna say for count in range, and we use max goals. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to indent it. Let's see here. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, so now, same thing. I'm going to change this to goals, count. So basically everywhere I've got goal, I need to change it to goals, count. Goals, count. 
false count. Okay, and we also need to, uh, for our collision checking, we need to do the exact same thing. Okay. So if I enter this here, because we're not just checking for collision with one goal, we're checking for collision with all the goals. So I should tell you what, why don't I just move that inside of our loop? We don't need to make another loop for that. So I'm going to cut that out. And need to make sure it's indented properly. So is collision so player, there's only one player. So the same thing, goals count. Goals count. And oops, I don't want to do that. Goals count. So basically what this is going to do is for every goal that we have, in our case we, we chose six, um, but we could make that more, um, it's going to check the boundaries for each of those goals. It's going to, or the X boundary, it's going to check the Y boundary. And then it's going to check for a collision. If there's a collision, it moves it to a different random position and uh, turns it uh, to a random direction. Okay, let's see if we got any errors and see what happens. Oops, that back. Okay. Okay, so we've got our goals. Okay. And now you can see it's moving slower, which is somewhat to be expected, but maybe not to this extent. So that's working, which is good. Now it's running a little bit slow. Um, there's this thing, I don't quite know a lot about it myself, but uh, called Tracer. And what this does is it's basically, it doesn't draw the screen every single time. It kind of has a little bit of a, a, I don't know how to say it. It skips frames. So basically it'll draw a little bit faster. I've played around with it. I found that three worked really well uh, for this, uh, basically this program. Let's just run it, make sure. Yeah, so you can see how it's, it's moving a lot smoother now. So instead of trying to animate every single frame, it's uh, basically animating every third, I think third frame in this case. So that gives us a much smoother animation. And now you can, you could, you know, you can see how, you know, you can basically make a game out of this. We can make a score. Um, that's a, probably another lesson. And, okay. And that's that. So basically, if you understand, yeah, you can see they get stuck sometimes. It's, it's probably just bad programming. Um, but you can see um, how we took our initial program, which just had one goal. Uh, we turned everything into, we turned it into a list. And just basically, you know, the key part here is that this now is our turtle reference. So goals zero is a turtle. Goals one is a turtle. And they're all separate, so they can all have separate. Uh, uh, they can have all separate uh, properties. Um, we could do a random color. We could change shapes, and we'll talk about some of those things uh, in another lesson. But I think for now, if you can get this working, that would be really, really uh, good. Also, don't forget this uh, window tracer method, which uh, drops frames so that the animation is a little bit faster.